another edition of What's the 411 Industry Insider Edition. I'm Courtney Rashawn, and in studio today we have Kelly Jackson, who is the show producer and talent manager of Sway in the Morning on Sirius XM Radio. Hello. Hello, Kelly. How are you? Welcome I'm to great. the show. I'm great. Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So let's get started. Okay. Okay, so let's get right to the chase. So tell us about Over Deliver Entertainment. So Over Deliver Entertainment is an entertainment company. Uh, we started off with management and one of the first clients is my partner, Sway Calloway. Um, I'm a, his overseer, but we also have a music company. And also we're moving more into film right now. Great, great. So how did you begin working with Sway Calloway? Sway and I, uh, <laughs> he, he is my brother. He's family. But oh, wow. Sway, and I okay. met, um, <laughs> Sway and I met when he had a production company with a, a, with a label I used to work with. So I come from music. Uh, okay. the music side. So he had a record company, All City Productions. He had an artist uh, that was on our label. Uh, through It was a label through Tommy Boy. And we worked together and became friends and just saw each other throughout industry um, functions all over the world. And we just kept in touch. He's good people. I'm good people. We have good energy. Kept in touch throughout the years. And we just had an opportunity because we're like-minded individuals to form a company. Right. That's great. And how long has the uh, company been in existence? Over five years right now. As far as Over Deliver, we both have had companies. Sway is still a part of the Wake Up Show with his partner, King Tech. But we formed a company uh, for things that we do. So over over five years right now. Wow, that's great. So where are you from? Originally from Flint, Michigan. Okay, because so I detected a, a little yeah. accent, just a little bit. Well, it, it, it's interesting because when I go home, I don't sound like them. Of course. I don't sound like these uh, New Yorkers. So I'm a, I'm a, a jumbo mix of everything. That's all right. It's okay to be a hybrid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I went to college in Mississippi, so, you know, yeah. I pick up a little bit of everything. A little bit of Southern flavor. <laughs> all that, all that. Let me like that. <laughs> so tell us about your background in the entertainment industry. So my background, um, I came, I graduated from Jackson State University with a degree in marketing. I have an MBA nice. in media and arts. Um, smart woman, smart woman. <laughs> well, you Stay have in to school, be. people. You, it's, it's very important to be. So like I told you, I started off um, in, in the music. So I've worked at small companies, um, and I've also worked at big corporations like Sony. So I've worked at Columbia Records uh, on the pop side, and I've also worked on the urban side with Epic Records. Wow. And I think that what I enjoy, I think, I've, well, I've always been an entrepreneur, uh, being an independent freelancer, having different projects, working with artists all through hip-hop and R&B and different pop artists. So the record company side has always been able to give me a foundation. My One of my first, I uh, had internships as well. Right. And I worked with a, um, an array of like smart, outgoing people that I learned so much in the marketing department that working there with my internship, a small label, mid-size and big in a, a big conglomerate uh, company was able for me to go outside and kind of use all everything that I learned and help other artists who may not have the opportunity or bigger budgets and have them function and be able to bring them more awareness to the music industry and to consumers. That's great. So you were able to offer what you learned to someone else who may not have had the budget or the been in the position Absolutely. to um, you know, operate the way a big company would. That's great. Yeah. They must have loved you there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes I think um, sometimes artists in different companies feel like money is their stop sign right. that they can't do anything because of money and you have to just be smart about your money and be wise of if I have this money who am I going to give my five dollars to right and one of the things that I really enjoy is counseling advising different artists what you should do like here's your choices but really finding out what they want to do and expound on what their vision is Wow, that's great so interesting so what's the best advice that you can give someone who wants to work in your industry Never stop learning. Right. I'm always learning. I think that when you stop learning, you stop growing. Because the industry, the music industry, and that's entertainment, yes. music, film, television, it's something always different happening. Right. Always something new. You know, 
once you get uh, like social media. Who would have thought, you know, you can keep up with someone. I, it's people that I haven't seen in years right. that we can connect on on social media. And, you know, once I got accustomed to Twitter and Instagram, now it's Periscope. Right. Now there's uh, Snapchat, you know, and you got to know what it is, even if it's, it's too much for me. Right. But you got to know what's going on. Oh, yeah. Never you, stop learning. You have to stay in the loop. Yeah. Absolutely. So tell me about the movie. The movie. So Sway and I um, were at a rehearsal studio and some gentlemen were auditioning. Okay. And they had a short film called The Cycle. Um, and they they just had they filmed it. They they were filming, about to film it. And we said, let's exchange numbers. Let me see what you have after you finish it. It's um, a short, and we just finished at Urban World Film Festival. Nice. Uh, when I first saw it, I got goosebumps. I recently saw it a couple of days ago again. I still get goosebumps. It's um, it's a, a conversation piece okay. that uh, is so relevant um, of what's going on today. Right. It's dealing with police police brutality yes. um, in the black community. But this is a story that can connect to anyone of, in all races. Right. Uh, and we look forward to taking it all over the country, talking to different schools, putting it in schools and having discussions about it. We've worked with Donda's House in Chicago where we take, uh, take the film. It's a short, so it's under 12 minutes. Right. We take the short and we bring different people inside the community with the directors and the producers and have a discussion because it's really it's really important with Michael Brown, uh, uh, Trayvon Martin, yes. um, all, all these different shootings that have happened Everyone. recently. It's very yeah. important. So we are very proud um, to be a part of it. And we're looking always to be a part of uh, platforms that make a difference. Yeah, it's, it's very yeah. important to make a difference. And it's really great that you guys are bringing awareness to, you know, this, this subject because, yeah. you know, there's a need for it. Yeah. You know, it really is a need for it. So, okay, on to something lighter now. So <laughs> what is the craziest thing that's ever happened on your show? Well, I, I, <laughs> I, I think that uh, everyone would always say the Kanye West. Yes, yes, Kanye yes. Kanye West moment was an interesting moment. Do you know what you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, how sway. You don't have the answer, sway. You don't have the answer, sway. <laughs> that, you know, I think that's going to go down in history. And that's been uh, over a year now, uh, over almost two years now, and people still walk up to sway and still go, you don't have the answer. You don't have the answer. <laughs> so that was, that was an interesting moment because we didn't, you didn't, we didn't know what was really happening at the time when right. the turn up happened. So... <laughs> <laughs> but we have, we have a lot of fun moments. This uh, one of the things we're into our fifth year. Um, oh, great! Okay. And you know, every day is a different day, and that's what makes it fun, and yeah. that's why we're still here. And it, what's what's interesting, I, I laugh because Sway tricked me with the morning show. When he first got the job, he asked me, "Can you come with me the first two weeks?" Right. And five years later, here I am as a producer, and I've learned a lot because coming from the record side. And being a promoter, I used to have to pitch to people, and people have to pitch to me. And so it's a great, I never stop learning. Right. So I, I get it. I understand both sides. And so I'm, I'm a great liaison for the show and for on the label side because it all has to make sense yeah. for our show. You know, so it's fun. It's yes, so fun. you absolutely enjoy what you do. Absolutely, I can see it. You have absolutely. a glimmer in your eye. <laughs> absolutely. And that's after, after that's done uh, at noon. It's on to the next. That's just one one dimension of Kelly. Right. That's yeah. great. So, um, who were you most excited about interviewing and or working with throughout your career? Oh my goodness. Overall, uh, I'm st I'm still having those moments. You know, right. um, if we take we're in Brooklyn. When Fabulous came, I was very excited because I'm a fan. I'm, right. st I'm still a fan of different people. Right. Uh, upcoming, we have Gladys Knight coming. Oh, I'm wow. excited That's about be her. Great. When Boy George came, I was very excited. I like Big Frida. Yeah. You know, I had. I was like, I want to be your friend. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> I get those moments. Right. That, you know, we have conversation. You right. know, and it's it's just really it, inside the studio. What people see online on Sway's universe, like it's a really real. We have so much fun, and it's like family, right? You know, and we try to create an atmosphere where it's fun. You're not there to be attacked. Right. We want you to come back, and it's a conversation. We don't care about the celebrity business and the gossip. We really want 
to get out what we want you to promote what you have and really know something different about you that we haven't seen online you know and make you feel comfortable yeah absolutely that's great that's really great yeah. all right so do you have like your top fave five people that you've interviewed throughout your career or that's been on the show? Well, you know, in addition to the radio show, I do a health segment oh, yes, um, every yes, week. Yes, you do. So yes. I talk about health and, and how that happened. Uh, I, once I got my MBA, I was writing so much. I was like, I, I'm a writer. I can do this. <laughs> and and um, I had an opportunity with Dan Charnas, who was at Interactive at the time. He um, gave me the opportunity to write for uh, the site called Elevate. Okay. So I started writing about health. And when we went over to Sirius XM, Sway said, why don't you bring this over to the radio show? And we've had, a, we've had really um, some great conversation every week. And I've been able to bring in people like Dr. Ian, Jillian Michaels, nice. um, wow. Ron Hill Sr. Because we talk about health. So that's your mind, body, and soul. Absolutely. Um, I, I think having Dr. Ian up there... Uh, who, I'm having the Surgeon General call in. Yeah, wow. So that's going to be really Great. cool. Valerie Jarrett calls in when we were talking about Obamacare. Um, really, my favorite people are the people who call in our listeners. Yeah. Because if I'm talking about epilepsy, high blood pressure, and there's someone, or depression, I've talked about mental illness. When people are calling in and they're connecting, and these are people that listen to hip-hop music, right. and they're connecting and they're talking about their health. That gives me chills like you're listening and you're concerned about your health. Right. And it's, it's bigger than the music and it's bigger than rap. Well, without your health, you can't do anything else. Absolutely. So. And we're all, we all are getting older. Absolutely. People always talk about how they're young, young. But each year you're getting older and you have to take care of yourself. Exactly. You can't drink the Hennessy and the vodka and all and there's not an effect. Just a little red wine, people. Just a little red wine. <laughs> red wine can be good for you it's in good moderation. For the heart. In moderation, but, yes. But, you know, people <laughs> overdo it. And yes. they party and you have to have sleep is important. Sleep is very important. You know, that sleep, I'm going to sleep when I die, that's not that's not sexy to me. <laughs> I need I need my sleep, and we want to bring those platforms. But so I think the most important people are the listeners, the people that are supporting us. We want to support them too and give them a lot of information. Yeah, that's a really good thing that you guys are bringing um, health and wellness awareness um, to the show. Um, you know, disease, illness, all those things do not discriminate in terms of you know race and age or Absolutely. anything. Absolutely. You know, and it's great for people to be educated because a lot of people aren't aware of some of the health issues and things that you can do. To mm -hmm. You know that are preventative to you know to stop these different illnesses and things like that. Or at least get it under control. So that's a really good thing Absolutely. that you guys are doing that. So, okay. So those are your top fave, uh, five. Yeah, uh, the, fave the people, people. The people. The people. Um, you know, I, I think it's just people. Maybe you grew up looking up to. Mm -hmm. We get excited. You know, we've had just pe people you grow up with. Right. That's just exciting. This is like every day. You know. So when so's coming, we get an opportunity to choose these different people. And I right. think, Sway, we all have fun with just different moments. Moments, You know, even the Chris Browns are fun. Right. You know, um, big, I think Big Frida was a good one. Really? Yeah, I, love, I love her. Love yeah, I her. just saw the... Uh, the uh, um, the, uh, drop for her uh, new yes. um, show that's coming on. I just hit her and just was like, I'm excited. And I I was like, oh, I'm interested to see this, you know. Yeah. It just looks interesting. She looks like she's just is such a character. You Absolutely. Know? Yeah. And a good person. Yeah, yeah. A good yeah, person. That's important. So what's in the future for you and your company? Over deliver. Uh, we really want to over deliver. So more films. Right. Uh, we want to do more stuff with Sway. Sway is one of our brands. Doing more things with the show. Sway in the Morning goes, we're going across country. We're going to different schools. We do live broadcasts. Really touching the people because it's all about them. Right. Um, for myself, still learning and growing. Uh, building the company to do more. It's all about, it's, it's bigger than the music. So music, film, television. We have a lot of things uh, that we just want to try. It's right. all about putting stuff out in the universe, something's going to hit, you know, and doing stuff that means something that's going to make a difference for the future. Absolutely. That, that's, that's so amazing. So would Thank you like you. to let everyone know where they can find you on Twitter oh, yeah. and Instagram? I know, not Periscope. Like, <laughs> at all media, it's Kelly Kincaid, K-E-L-L-Y, K-I-N-K-A-I-D. Because the name of this, name of my segment is First Day with Kelly Kincaid. So on the radio, you're here, Kelly Kincaid. And, you know, you can go to Sway's Universe and check out all the videos from the show and other things that we're doing lifestyle-wise. Yeah, you have to check Ms. Kelly Jackson <laughs> out. It was so great having you. you. Thank you for hanging out with Thank us at you. What's the 411. Yes. And 
there we have it, yes. Miss Kelly Jackson. Yes, I want, and I want to, I want to thank Ruth Morrison for reaching out. Oh yes, out absolutely. For me. Thank you for the internet and link. Hey, boss whatever. lady. Yes, boss <laughs> lady. I really appreciate her for even thinking about me. There's a lot of there's a lot of people that you all can choose and select, and I really appreciate you all giving me the opportunity to come and talk with you. Guys. Oh, thank you for yeah. giving us the opportunity to have you. Ruth is amazing. Absolutely, we love her. Yes, <laughs> we love you. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you. There you have it, Miss Kelly Jackson here at What's the Four One One. And um, thank you for coming in. Thank you. All right. What's the 411 Entertainment News? 411 Life.